10 of the absolute best designer fragrances that you can spend your money on. So I strategically timed this video because tomorrow is Christmas. And a lot of times with Christmas comes money. It seems like guys especially can be hard to shop for, especially as you get older. You know, when you're young, obviously, you can get toys and all this and all that. But, you know, I've really been kind of a challenge for a lot of other people, my friends, my family to shop for for Christmas and birthdays because I guess as dudes, it's just a bit tougher. You know, obviously, fragrances is very hard to gift. Uh, depending on your other hobbies, those could be very expensive, very hard to gift as well. So in a lot of situations for gifts, we get money, gift cards. So Merry Christmas, Happy Christmas Eve to you. You may have some money coming your way tomorrow and you may get this wild hair up your butt to go online, go on discounters and spend some money. And so I figured I'd put together a video of 10 designer fragrances that are just worth it, right? And specifically what I was looking for with these was I was taking into consideration the value for your money. So all of these here, in my opinion, are 100% justified in their current prices on discounters. And that price in specific is FragranceNet with their 35% off code, which is linked down below. That link is always in my videos and that will always automatically give you 35% off code. They change it all the time, but that link, it always works no matter what they change it to. So yeah, in my opinion, these here are really great bang for your buck. Some are more expensive than others. We do have some that are up in the $100 range, still designers, but I think they're worth that. I think these are very valuable. And if you got some extra money laying around, your pockets are feeling a bit heavy and you just want to get out there and just spend some money and feel a little bit bad. You know, sometimes you're on discounters, you're shopping at fragrances, you're, you got a, a cart put together of $500 or something and you just feel exhilarated. If you want some of that, let's get some. So this first fragrance here is one that's a given. It has to be in here. I can't do a video like this without including it. So we're going to put it up front and center. We'll go through it real quick and get on to some other stuff. That is Versace Pour Homme, $40 for a 100 ml bottle of this, roughly. And you can get a 200 ml honkin' size bottle like this for, you know, a bit more than that, not terribly amount, 60, 70 bucks, something like that. Still an absolute, like, robbery steal. Lemon, bergamot, neroli, musk, it's citrusy, it's fresh, it's clean, it's sexy, it's masculine. It's called Versace Signature, technically, for a reason. This could easily be your signature scent. This could be the one fragrance for you. If you don't want to mess around with having a whole bunch of different stuff and spend a whole crap load of money on a bunch of fragrances and you only want one or a handful, this has to be one of them. Versace Pour Homme, Versace Signature, one that's very close to me, one that I always love the smell of, and one that is easily, by far, 1,000% worth the 40 bucks for it. So this next one does creep its way up into the $100 range. I want to say I saw it at like 107 on Fragrance Net with that 35% off from Dior. It is Eau Sauvage Cologne. Bergamot, grapefruit, and Petit Grain. Eau Sauvage, not Sauvage. So if you're listening and not watching, which is fine, this is like podcast style for you if you're doing something else in the background, Eau Sauvage Cologne, not Dior Sauvage, the Ambroxan scent. Big difference here. So essentially, this is the Eau Sauvage line, which is citrus aromatic, classic fragrances for men, masculine, traditional, that sort of thing. The cologne is even more citrusy, even more fresh than the original. This to me smells fantastic. So bright, so refreshing, so happy, just so sweet and magical, but yet still masculine, demanding, citrusy, kind of a sour from that lemon in here. There's a whole lot going on. It opens up strong, it hits hard. There's almost a little bit of a kind of a spicy kick, but really it's just kind of the bergamot, grapefruit sour punch that you get. Immediately following that is some nice masculine woods in here. Again, this is not quite as modern as a lot of the other fragrances that are going to be in this video and just stuff being put out these days. This is more the traditional route, but it is more modern compared to the original Eau Sauvage. That one would be considered maybe a bit on the dated side for some of you out there. This one, it kind of takes it uh, and revamps it, gives it a little bit of a, a refreshed smell, but still does follow that DNA. You know, this is the type of thing that I would imagine wearing when a nice crisp white t-shirt, nice pair of shorts, in the springtime, in the summertime, when it's hot outside, going out there in the morning, the sun's coming up, birds are chirping, it smells like summertime, everything is back to life. 
this is the fragrance you need for that. Really great stuff here, great quality, performance is good for what it is. And I think it's a scent that's 100% worth the money here if you want to smell like a classy, refined man's man. So we're going from uh, one side of the spectrum to the other here with Armani Code Absolute. So this one will kind of find its way up towards that $100 range depending on bottle size and just what discounters feel like pricing it at, I guess. This one has vanilla, tonka bean, suede, orange. It's smooth, it's creamy, it's sexy, it's... Uh, the new style of masculine, I suppose. It's not, you know, a traditional scent like we were just talking about. You know, it is uh, definitely the modern way of perfumery these days, being very sweet, uh, talk to being heavy, that sort of thing. But there is kind of a masculine sexiness about it that is just kind of the new thing here. Performance is crazy good, very strong. It's not a loud projector, more so it is just a, a long lasting scent and it does leave a nice trail behind you. And again, that does make sense. It is a parfum concentration. So it does really leave a great trail behind you, something that a lot of people are gonna be able to pick up on. I've said this time and time again, but it is worth its price a million times over. Love this fragrance. One that I went into with decent expectations, and this one basically knocked those out of the park and completely crushed it. This is a true flanker. This is a flanker done right. More brands need to do it like this. Up next, another flanker, kind of like a flanker of a flanker in a way, Gentleman Boise Eau de Parfum by Givenchy. Iris, sandalwood, some other woods going on in here. It is a semi-spicy, woody, creamy, sweet, slightly floral men's fragrance that is really, really nice. You know, there's something about this one that it kind of uh, unwraps itself and reveals more about it each time you smell it, each time you wear it. I've had this one for a good while now. I think I bought it as soon as it was available to me. And so in the beginning, I was iffy on it. It really wasn't my thing. But even now, still, months later, each time I spray it and smell it, I like it more. There's something about this smell that just wraps you up. It, it just, it makes you feel cozy. It makes you feel just overwhelmed. It just feels like you can just sink into a nice soft bed or pillow with the scent of this around you. It's very, very nice. You know, it may not be the most unique thing out there for a lot of you guys, but at the same time, it does have a different twist about it that does separate it from not only the rest of the line, so it's not redundant, but also just everything else on the market in general. To me, this is absolutely amazing. Might make it my scent of the day because I'm really liking this right now. It smells great. It's gonna be kind of a mild day temperature wise here today. And so I think I'm gonna rock this one. Got a nice creamy sandalwood mixing with the iris, which also gives off the sweetness. Very, very well done. And I think it is definitely worth the price. All things considered, this is a great pickup. This next one, we have Light Blue Forever and Ever and Ever by Dolce & Gabbana. What an amazing release, absolutely incredible. Grapefruit, ozonic notes, violet leaf. I've described this one before, so I'll just do it quickly here. The violet leaf gives off a watery smell. The grapefruit is what this one's all about up top. Very punchy, very rindy, very sour, very photorealistic. And the ozonic notes kind of gives off this textured, airy bite. It really does give it a bite along with that grapefruit. That's really the only way I can describe it. You got to put your nose on this one for yourself to see what the hype is about. In my opinion, it is 100% justified. If you're into citrus, this is going to be for you point blank period. If you're not a big fan of citrus, if citrus doesn't really excite you, this one may not, or this may be the fragrance that really does get you hooked on like a grapefruit note. It just depends on where you're at in your, your collection hobby. I know for me, citrus fragrances, fresh fragrances is what really started my passion for this. Now I've kind of moved over to where sweeter, heavier tobacco, boozy vanilla fragrances kind of uh, interest me and blow my mind more. Um, but when I smelled this one for the first time this year, I was blown away and it kind of rekindled my love for, for a well done citrus fragrance. I think this is so, so good and it is available on discounters now. It will be linked down below. At that price, it is an absolute like take my money please and give it to me now type of steal. And even at retail, still was worth it. I paid retail and I do not regret that a single bit. 
gorgeous stuff here. So this next one is a fragrance that I had to uh, retire from my videos because rumor had it, it was discontinued. It was going out of stock on all the discounters, on retailers, you just couldn't buy it anymore. I was bummed out because I like it a lot. I liked featuring it and I liked sharing it with you guys. And so as soon as it became impossible to get, it had to be moved to the back shelf. No more video spotlight for it. But I'm happy to say that it is now back in stock on discounters on FragranceNet. You can purchase this one again. Valentino Womo Aqua. Tomato leaf, iris, orange, and sage. So a bit of a different note breakdown there, especially with that tomato leaf. That's kind of the thing that really piques people's interest. And don't worry, it doesn't smell like the actual tomato itself. Like if you were to bite into a tomato or put it on your burger or have a salad. It doesn't smell like tomato in that regard. It's the tomato leaf. So it, it gives off this kind of leafy, fruity kind of, uh, I don't know, there's a slight green touch about this one as well. Of course, you get a little bit of an um, airy, uh, watery note, not really aquatic, even though it's called aqua, more so watery. You get the iris, of course, which is the heart and soul of this DNA. And that gives it a floral kind of uh, semi-sweet touch in here. It's really well done, very well thought out, and definitely one of the more unique summer aquatic fragrances out there. There's a bit of an herbaceousness from the sage, a little bit of a fruitiness from the orange that's kind of underneath. It's really quite nice. For me, again, I was bummed when this was allegedly discontinued. I really, frankly, don't know what's going on here, discontinued or not. I just know that you can get two different bottle sizes on FragranceNet currently, so if you've been looking for this, I would pick one up. And if you haven't been looking for this, but now you're intrigued because you're hearing me talk about it, I would still pick one up. Grab it, stash it away for spring and summertime, especially spring, I think, and you are going to be a big, big fan. Great, great stuff here. Very, very nice, unique, summer scent. So uh, yeah, this next one here, well, I sell Wiley Parfum. Apple, sage, lavender, aldehydes, amberwood. You know, I'm sorry, had to be here. It's at full retail, not discounted yet, but you know what? I like it and I think it is 100% worth this retail price. I don't say that often. And in fact, if you go back and look at a lot of my older videos where I'm talking about new releases, this and that, with a lot of them, not all, but a lot of them, I will tell you guys, yeah, for this one, I think you should wait for it to hit discounters. But we have had so many great new releases this year, and especially with how weird things have been, even with discounters, things taking a while to get there. A lot of the stuff we've had this year, I'm like, yo, straight up, this is worthy of retail price. And for me, that's not something that I feel that often. There are a lot of releases that I think are not worth retail price, and you should wait. And there were some this year as well, but there were also a lot this year that were just worth it for me. And this was definitely one of them. It's Y Eau de Parfum, but even better than that, it's more rich, it's more creamy, there's more depth behind this one. It's more interesting, there's more going on, and it performs a little bit better than that one. And the EDP already performs really good. Longevity is great because it's a true parfum. The projection is still strong as well, even though it is a parfum. And it also has a nice hybrid of giving some distance off, but also leaving a very heavy trail in the air. I just sprayed this one up in the air. I'm gonna be able to smell that throughout the rest of the video here. Great stuff that I think is 100% worth having around and is definitely worth the retail price. Very well done stuff here. And I guess I should also mention that even once it hits discounters, it's not gonna be discounted that heavily because it's Neve Saint Laurent. Maybe you can save 10, maybe $15 and that's being uh, on, the, on the positive side here when it's all said and done. So it's up to you. I think it's worth that retail price. So this next one here, you can have for around 30 to $40 on discounters. This one is Bentley for Men, Absolute. This one has cedarwood, pink pepper, papyrus, that, that sort of thing. Uh, other spicy notes in here, a bunch of woods. It is a dry, woody, and also kind of boozy scent. Even though there's no boozy notes in here, each time I spray it, I pick on something like that. It almost has this like oak barrel smell, like this, this uh, whiskey oak barrel type of smell just from the woods in here, that type of accord. Because I get that every time. And it's not like the perfumer's alcohol, 
these Bentleys don't really give that off in the beginning. It's like an actual boozy note. Maybe I'm the only one. But what I do know is it is such a sexy fragrance. Dry, woody, masculine, spicy. This is a home run, especially at this price. It is worth this price time and time again. I can't tell you how good of a deal this is. If you want a masculine fragrance that is different, that is going to turn heads, and that is just incredible quality for the price. Second to last fragrance, we have Prada Lunarosa Carbon. So this is the Sauvage clone. It's already known. I don't even need to tell you the note breakdown. It doesn't really matter. It's Sauvage, right? But it's a more smooth version of Sauvage and it's about half the price of that Dior. So yeah, 40 to $50 on discounters. You can get testers of these because they don't come with a cap anyway. That's kind of my preference if I can. Save a few bucks and just get a box that doesn't look as good cool for me. It, it's one that can be a bit more appealing to people than the regular Sauvage Eau de Toilette because that one is so spicy and this one's more smooth. Now, one of the main drawbacks is the performance is not quite on the beast mode ridiculous level like Sauvage, but I think for a lot of you, sometimes for me, that could also be an improvement because I don't always want to be obnoxious with my scent. And Sauvage is obnoxious unless I go with like one spray, maybe two, but it, it doesn't take much to be very loud with that one. This is more refined. It may be more appropriate for you for a work scent because it's not as loud, but it, it depends on what you're after. I think it's a great scent at 40 to $50. It is hard not to recommend this one. And last up for this video from Hermes, this is Terre Hermes, just the original Eau de Toilette. Orange, vetiver, and pepper. It's really all you need to know. Woody, orangey, dry, spicy. So it uh, kind of gets compared to smelling like a dirty, earthy orange. Now, I've never smelled an orange where I've rubbed it through the dirt and, you know, dehydrated it, but uh, I guess that's what it would smell like. Yeah, it's a good comparison though. It's really kind of what it is. You get that orange in the background, the vetiver, the woods, just this dry peppery spiciness kind of wraps up that orange note. So it's very masculine, very woody for sure. Very classy, very versatile. One that could definitely be a, a work scent, you know, an office scent, that sort of thing, especially if you hold a position of authority, if you're a boss or a manager or something somewhere and you want to kind of give off that impression, this is gonna be for you. Very confident, very masculine smelling here. It is definitely a polar opposite to something like Armani Code Absolute. So it all depends on what you're after. Alrighty guys, there you have it. 10 fragrances that in my opinion are worth their price time and time again. If you got some extra money laying around from the holidays here, hit the 35% off link down below and get shopping. I really tried to put a mix of everything in here. So we have everything from citrus to uh, citrus aromatic traditional to sweet, to woody, everything. So I think no matter what you're into here, you will definitely find something that you will really enjoy. I think I covered almost every main men's fragrance category, except for like, I guess an oud fragrance and like maybe something really boozy or something, but there's a, a, a nice mess of things here. So just go through, shop around, pick out some stuff that you like, treat yourself. It's been a crazy year. You deserve it. Let me know down below what are some fragrances that in your opinion are 100% worth the price. Hope you have a great Christmas, uh, spend time with your family, friends, whatever. Uh, have a safe one. And as always, we'll see you tomorrow with another one. Take care.